Did you know the most important parameter in concrete cannot be measured? And did you know that we've known this parameter was critical for more than 100 years? Well, today I'm gonna to show you some research that we've done at Oklahoma State and a new tool that we've developed to help you measure this important parameter. My name is Tyler Lay, I'm a concrete freak and I bring solutions to you, my concrete maniacs. What is the water to cement ratio? Well, it happens to be the mass of the water divided by the mass of the cementitious material. That's the cement plus any SCMs that are inside your concrete mixture. Happens to be the most important indicator of the quality of concrete and we have no way to measure it. So why is the water to cement ratio so important? Well, it determines your strength, your durability, and the consistency of your concrete. Here are some pictures. I've got two concretes, one on the left and one on the right, and they have different water cement ratios. The left, it's a 0 0.40, the right is a 0 0.50. These little gray dots are cement grains floating around in water. There's more cement grains per water on the left than there is on the right. There's higher concentration of cement grains on the left than there is on the right. It would be amazing if we could just look in and see this with our own eyes, like Kool-Aid, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, you can tell instantly if Kool-Aid has been rayed right or not, because you can tell by the color. Mom, no, you added too much water to the Kool-Aid. We don't want that. Well, why does this matter? Well, once <coughs> concrete starts to hydrate, it forms these little hydration products around each one of these particles. Then as they join together, we get more bonds on the left than we do on the right. Why does that matter? Well, when you go to load your concrete, there's more places for the load to go on the left than there is on the right. There's four, it's stronger. If you have water trying to penetrate in, inside the concrete, it cannot penetrate on the left and it can on the right. So how in the world do we measure the water cement ratio? We don't. It's on batch tickets, it's in specifications, but we don't measure it because there's not a good way to. We instead measure other things that we say are indicators to the water cement ratio. One of them is the slump test. This is where you take a cone, you fill it up with concrete in a, in a consistent manner, you pull that cone up slowly, you let the concrete fall, you flip it over, you measure with a ruler how far it fell, and that's supposed to be an indicator of how much water's in the concrete. The slump measures consistency. It does not measure anything to do with water to cement ratio, but people have been rejecting concrete for years because they say the slump is too high and that's because of water. It's not. It's because of a lot of other things. Water could be, but there's a lot of other things that contribute to the slump. Now, what else is there? Well, some people do these things called strength tests, where they make cylinders, where they fill them up in a consistent manner. There they are dumping them in, they strike them off, they let them harden, they demold them like this, then they break them in a machine like this. But we have to wait 28 days, at least most specifications require 28 days before they will say whether that concrete is good or not. So you have to just sit around and wait the entire time in between to see and wonder, is it right or is it not? There are lots and lots of things that impact strength. Water is one of them, but there are so many more. And the biggest thing that impacts strength is how these cylinders are handled, right? How they're treated like this. You don't want this. They just throw them on the ground. You think that's gonna be good for your concrete cylinders? What if we just leave them out without a cap on? Ah, drives me crazy. Or we leave them out in the snow? Do you think that's gonna affect the strength? Sure it does. Why is this a big deal? Well, concrete is being rejected incorrectly. It's getting a bad name and it shouldn't. We are waiting a month to know if our concrete's right or not. I think we can learn a lot faster than that. People are more are using more and more cement in their concrete as a safety factor against some of these issues. This, what does this do? This increased the costs, increased the carbon footprint, it's bad, we don't want it, we need to address this. I know, this is sad, right? What if we could measure the water cement ratio in fresh concrete? And we're going to try to do that today with a test called the Phoenix! <laughs> and 
how does this test work? How does the Phoenix work? You need a batch ticket. You need to know the batch weights. You need the specific gravity of your aggregate and the absorption of your aggregate. Those are widely known numbers. You can't do concrete mixtures without them. Number two, you need going to make and weigh a six inch by four inch cylinder in a standard manner. You weigh it and then you dump it in this pan and you smooth it out and then it goes inside the Phoenix. Yes, the Phoenix. There's the oven. There it is going in. We put a lid on it in case any of the aggregates pop and then yes. You take it out after 15 minutes and everything is what is is dry. So you're going to compare the weight of the pan before it went in and with the wet concrete in it to the weight of the pan after it has been cooked. And the difference is the water that you've cooked out. What am I talking about? When we started out the test, all of the water is in there and the Phoenix drives all the water out of the concrete. It takes about 15 minutes to do that. We would take out all the water from the paste and also the aggregate. So we can calculate how much water was inside the aggregate or would be absorbed in the aggregate and then how much water would be left for hydration. And that's the water that we care about. And we adjust for the air content of the mixture by weighing the air content or by using that unit weight of that cylinder I showed you before to dial in the mix and correct for the air content. This sounds crazy complicated, right? Well, there's an app that does all this for you that comes with the Phoenix and you can use it wherever you wanna run it. Note, this test, the Phoenix, it measures the water in the fresh concrete, and we assume and we'll calculate the water cement ratio, assuming that all the cementitious content is batched correctly. It should be. It's the most expensive um, um, ingredient, so it should be batched correctly. We just assume it is. So how in the world can we test this? Well, we're going to make mixtures in the lab where we carefully control the weights of everything and the moistures, and then we're going to measure it with the Phoenix. So we have an ideal weight, ideal water cement ratio, then we have the Phoenix measured water cement ratio, and we compare them. We did this for a ton of different aggregates, different specific gravities, different absorptions, different water cement ratios, different paste contents, and the data looks like this. On the batch, this is what we think is in the concrete on the x-axis. This is what we measured in the concrete on the y-axis. And this perfect diagonal line here would be line of equality, perfect agreement. And these are plus or minus 0.02. That is about the variation in the test method. Each one of these data points is a lot of data points. That's 31, that's 130 different measurements. And we show the average there and the standard deviation. This is more than 228 mixtures here. And one big thing that you want to see is how consistent the test is. Everything is pretty much within plus or minus 0.02 water cement ratio. And look at this coefficient variation, 3%. 3%, that's like amazing. That's like three times more accurate than a concrete cylinder test. But can you test the Phoenix in the field if you wanted to? Sure you can. Yeah, no problem. Here is where we did it. We put it in the back of a pickup truck. We used a generator to run the Phoenix. That is the Phoenix oven itself. There is the scale that we used to do everything with. We did everything the same. But what we did is we first started out, we went to a ready mix plant. We measured the moisture content of the rock and the sand with the Phoenix. We did the cook-offs in about five minutes. Then we actually used a camera to check the trucks for how much water was inside of them. And then we actually went and made concrete. Here we go on the x-axis. This is what the batch ticket thought the water cement ratio was. Here is the measured water cement ratio. This would be perfect agreement, the dashed line. And again, this is plus or minus 0.02. And we, what we did is we took a concrete truck with a known concrete mixture, measured it with the Phoenix, added exactly 0.04 water cement ratio to it. We weighed out the water, dumped it in, mixed it up, got another sample, measured it again, measured it again, measured it again. This we took eight trucks, did each truck four times, turns it into 32 different tests, and look, 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 look. 88% of the data was within 0.01 water cement ratio, and 100% of the data was within 0.02. And look at this coefficient variation again, 3%. Again, that's way more accurate than a concrete cylinder machine. So the Phoenix can measure the water cement ratio within 0.01 in 15 minutes in fresh concrete in the lab or the field. It can measure the moisture content of your aggregates within five minutes if you wanna do cook-offs. So if you are a specifier or an owner 
Why would you care about the Phoenix? Well, number one, you can verify your water cement ratio is correct while the concrete is still wet, before it's been dumped out. How amazing is that? You can drop your slump specifications. They're not helping you. You don't need them. This is a much, much, much better approach. You can reduce the importance of strength. Now, I didn't say stop testing for strength. I just means it's not as important. You don't have to wait 28 days. You could decrease some strength measurements because you know you're going to get strength if you get air content and your water cement ratio correctly in your fresh concrete and you will decrease your cost and improve your sustainability of your concrete because you won't have the over designs. Why would a concrete producer be interested in the Concrete Phoenix? Well, number one, you can prove your concrete meat specification immediately, right away. That's totally awesome to know that something is great and meet specification. Number two, you can stop being rejected for slump because we shouldn't have to be turning concrete away for slump if we know the water is correct. We can stop being penalized for cylinder handling. If you can show them that you got the water cement ratio and it was correct, I don't see why they can get you in trouble. I know they may try, but I think you got a lot to stand on there. You can start reducing your over design of your concrete mixtures, reduce the cement content. If you're a contractor, why in the world would you be interested in the Phoenix? Number one, you can get consistent concrete on a lot of jobs, something like floors, something like we're finishing, and flatness is a really, really big deal. You must have consistent concrete. Here's a way to dial it in and get it. This means you don't have to tweak the concrete on site. You can work with your producer to get things dialed in. The trucks show up and you can start using them. And you would know you're getting concrete that meets the specification immediately. That's got to make you feel good on the inside. You'll be in increasing your productivity, increasing your quality. This is amazing and awesome. Game changer, baby. Who's using the Phoenix? Right now, Department of Transportations have them or using them. Contractors have them or using them. Ready Mix and testing labs. This technology is out there, getting out there. Be part of the team of Phoenixes. So where can you find out more? You can go to concretephoenix.com. You can also go to globalgilson.com. Type in Concrete Phoenix and learn more there. In summary, measuring the water cement ratio, fresh concrete, game changer. Game changer. This can drastically improve the quality, reliability, consistency while lowering the cost, improving the sustainability of your concrete. Game changer. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tyler Lay. Please, if you like this video, like it, subscribe it, share it, share it, give it out, let people know about it, and of course, subscribe to my channel, my concrete maniacs. I love you guys. Can't wait to keep chatting with you. Take care. Peace. The Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do.